What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome to a new vlog. Or should I say 24 hour readathon? That is right guys, I am doing my first ever 24 hour readathon because why not? <laughs> I'm actually doing it with Leander Brooks. I've mentioned her several times before. She has her own YouTube channel. We are both gonna vlog us doing the readathon and post it to our YouTube channels. And that is one thing I love about the Harry Potter community, like YouTube, BookTube, even Instagram. Like you meet some really great people and meeting Leanda has just been really great. We message all the time. So it's just been really great getting to know her. So yeah, we're gonna do this readathon together and support each other, trying to keep each other motivated to stay awake for 24 hours. Um, and we're actually gonna be reading the same books. So hopefully by the end of this readathon, we'll both have like our own opinions. So I'm very interested to see like what her opinions are of the same books and how they differ from my opinions because we both are gonna be reading The Starless Sea. I'm, I'm doing eBooks and The Night Circus. Both of these are by Aaron Morgis, Morgenstern. You guys know I butcher names, like. Uh, <laughs> now, Leanda is actually in the UK. So I'm starting at 12 p.m. US Central Time, which it's 11.58, so I'm about to have to start. She is starting 7 p.m., which is UK time. Um, so it's like the same time, but different. So we're about to have to start um, reading, and we're gonna read for 24 hours. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna see if we can read both of these books in that time. And I'm actually like a fairly fast reader. Um, it's just like when I read out loud that people question if I actually went to college and have an education. Um, so yeah, <laughs> honestly, I'm not really like that worried about staying awake. I feel like my years of being sleep deprived due to my children have like prepared me for this moment. So yeah. Oh, it is 12 o'clock. It is time. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start reading. Um, I will check in in a little bit. You gonna read with me, Kit Kat? Huh? I'm only on page 44 of Starless Sea, and it's 148. This, like this book started out, like the first eight pages was like, oh, okay, okay. And then it was like, So far, I am not loving this book. Like, mm, it's definitely not an easy read. Like, it's not just a book that you can just sit and just read right through. So pretty much this book is about Zachary. He's our main character. And he finds this mystery book. And it has a detail of his past in the book that apparently like leads him to a secret underground world. So I mean, it's supposed to have like love, mystery, magic, but all it has right now is boringness. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm sick of it jumping around. Like it needs to get on a path and just go. Like let's, let's go. And I think a lot of that has to do with the writing style. It is so wordy and descriptive like oh my gosh like just get to the point already and that's just me i've always preferred books that aren't super descriptive you don't have to tell me every single detail of the house like tell me the house is white with blue shutters i can fill in the rest you know like i have imagination you don't have to tell me every little detail so 
I don't know guys. Honestly, I'm hungry, so I think I might take a break and just eat a snack and something and just clear my head, so yeah. Check in later. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Thank God. I'm on page 88 and just met Dorian. I like him. I have my Twizzlers. Don't judge me. And yeah. <laughs> Calvin's going to get me some energy drinks because, whew, y'all, it's 347, 88 pages. This is definitely not an easy book. Like, it doesn't just, like, not an easy read. But we're getting somewhere. We're picking up. So, okay. Okay. Just thought I would update y'all with that. Okay, well, I'll check in later. Look, we just got here from daycare. Yeah. I was good at daycare. You were good at daycare? What about you, Bella? Hey, what's up? Hey, Mommy. Ah, ah, ah. Back look. away from that. Look. No, ma'am. Look. Oh, I love it. <gasps> Ooh, who's that supposed to be? Um, this is Shelby. This is me, this is Joshua, this is Miko, and this is Haley. Oh, there. I love it. This is for you. Oh, thank you, baby. That's Please. for bed. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'll never write my name on it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Calvin is being clutch uh, during this 24-hour readathon with the kids, so he's getting hubby points for this. And he just got me energy drinks, so. The most patient cat in the world. Good job, Xander. Nice, slam dunk. Good job, Bella. Good job. Poor Kit Kat, laying there, questioning Yay! her Yay! life decisions. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Yay! I'm sorry, Kit Kat. Oh, that poor cat. Yay! You think she would move? <laughs> Did you hit her too? That cat, look at her guys. Look at her cat. eyes. Y'all be careful, a kit cat. Okay, so I'm on page one forty five. I'm getting used to the writing style at first, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. But I kind of like how we're getting a bit of Zachary's tale, and then it's kind of getting broke up with a fairy tale, kind of. Sometimes that annoys me because I don't like a story being interrupted. Like, it... I want it to continue to flow, but I'm actually really liking the little fairy tales in between Zachary's story. It was throwing me in the beginning, guys. It really was, but like I said, I'm on page 145, and I'm liking it. I'm, I'm okay. It's pretty good, so that was my update for now. Did I even tell you guys that this book has 499 pages? Yes, yes it does.
is not gonna let me film him like Bella did. I said, stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Mary go round. Oh, Daddy go round. Hold on tight. Ready? Alright, Daddy go round. Daddy go round. Daddy go round. My turn now. <laughs> we up on you pretty good, didn't we? Why are you asking the winner if he's okay? You be asking all three of y'all. I mean, but did you win? I mean, look at your hair. Uh, look, look at, at your, your face. face. Look at you. Look at your face. Look at your hair. Like, this is a style choice. Thank you. Style choice, so you just got your ass whipped. Oh. Okay, well, I need to go back and read. We about to give him a bath. I mean, I think the loser should give him a bath. So you're going to give him a bath? I didn't lose. Did you? Did you even drink a cake worse than winning? You had to help and still got whooped. It's bad. It's real bad. Did I lose though? Did you even come close to winning? Yes, I won. I won, so. Hey, you couldn't catch did, a did mommy win or did daddy win? See, Bella, did mommy win or did daddy win? Daddy win. Yeah. Bella, you traitor. Yeah, mommy win. Mommy win. <laughs> Don't you three get yourself in a state. I'm sure Hagrid's fine. But if he was supposed to be back by now, said Hermione in a small, worried voice, Madame Maxime was with him. We've been in touch with her and she's... 
Okay, so it's 12.30. I'm on page 303. I've had to change reading locations because I swear if I stayed on my bed, I was about to, I was about to pass out. So, have an energy drink. I'm sitting up. Whew. I just checked on the kids. Took a video. As you guys saw, they're in their sleep with Calvin. Listening to Harry Potter. They're so cute. So, I'm trucking through. Yeah. But I will check back in later. It is four in the morning and I'm on page 404. I finally have less than 100 pages left. Thank God. Oh my God, I'm so tired, y'all. And I'm still going to try and read another book. I'm going to do this. I shall succeed. But I have realized that I have to keep moving locations because if I get comfortable for too long, I will seriously start just dozing. So now I'm just randomly reading in different spots in my house to try and stay awake. Okay, Kat's the only one still awake with me. Whew. Okay, back at it. I did it. I am done. Wow, I'm done with the Starless Sea. So it is 626. <sighs> I have about five and a half hours left in this 24 hour readathon. Will I finish the Night Circus? No, no, I will not, y'all. This the the last 30 pages of this book took me so long because I am so tired that I was like, I read like an entire page and it like just did not process. I was like, what, what did I just read? And I would have to read like pages over and over because I was so tired. <laughs> it's almost 6.30, which means the kids are actually about to wake up soon. Uh, to get ready for daycare, like, it's light outside. I've been up all night. Yes, I have. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and start the night circus. But honestly, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I got it in me. I've been wanting to read the night circus for a while, like, Y'all, listen to the description real fast. I'm just going to give you tidbits of it. The circus arrives without warning, no announcement. It's called the Circus of Dreams, and it's only open at night. But behind the scenes, a fierce competition is underway between two young magicians, Celia and Marco. The two were trained since childhood expressively for this purpose. Unbeknownst to them, this is a game in which only one can be left standing. Despite themselves, however, Celia and Margo tumble headfirst into love. True love or not, the game must play out, and the fates of everyone involved from the cast of extraordinary circus performers to the patrons hang in the balance, suspended in the precariously as the daring acrobatics overhead. It's like, doesn't that sound amazing? <sighs> so, we'll see how far I get into this. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, uh, I fell asleep. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the kids are about to leave for daycare. And yeah, I'm awake. I'll be back to reading as soon as they leave. Bye, babies. I love you. Five. Uh. Oh, cool. Bye, Princess. Love you. Love you. Bye.
Bye. Y'all be good at daycare, Liz. Listen to your teacher, okay? Whoa! Ow! Oh, y'all are so strong. Ow! 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 Xander, it's too strong. Ow! You're too strong, Xander. Yeah! Okay, bye. I love y'all. Oh. Oh, ow. Bye, love y'all. Okay, so the kids just left for daycare. Uh, yeah. I, I could not keep my eyes awake no matter, like, what. It's 10, 16. I have two hours, well, a little bit less till my 24 hours is, like, officially up. I honestly might read till 2 since I kind of lost, like, two hours i don't know if i'm like that gung-ho for it you know uh it ends at 12 it's gonna end at 12 so i don't know but yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna start back reading the night circus and just see how far i get so yeah i will check back in later <laughs> actually read the night circus first and I read the starless sea first and we didn't even plan that like we kind of realized after the fact but actually it worked out perfectly because neither one of us finished the second book <laughs> like we've been messaging back and forth this entire time on Instagram and yeah she finished the night circus and then started the starless sea and I did not finish the night circus I mean I'm still reading it now I'm on page 95 uh but yeah <laughs> So yeah, I can't wait to watch her vlog to see what she thought of the night circus and the beginning of the Starless Sea, which is what I struggled with the most. I think we're both going to continue reading because it's so hard to leave a book unread. Like, it's like watching a movie halfway through and not finishing it. Like, you have to know what happens to the characters. Like, you can't just leave the characters, like, paused. Like, you have to know what happens. So I... I have to know what happened. So I'll probably end up finishing The Night Circus and tomorrow kind of giving my thoughts on both of these books. So yeah. But for now, I'm going to go to sleep. Because yeah, the kids are going to come home from daycare in a few hours. And they are little balls of energies that do not care that I've been up for almost 24 hours. So yeah. Okay guys, so it is 9.23. Um, we're about to go to bed. I took a little nap, like an hour or so, read a little bit more. Um, a few of you guys, uh, had actually wanted to know what skincare products I use. Uh, to be totally honest, guys, I am, like, the worst when it comes to my skin. I have always been, like, so bad to my skin. Honestly, it's really only been within the past couple of years that I've like really worried about my skin. But y'all, my grandma who's in her late 70s, she lives by Olay. And if my grandma recommends it, best believe I'm gonna do it because she looks way younger than in her 70s. She recently had open heart surgery and all of the nurses were like, what is your skincare routine? Like, what do you use? I wake up and so, Hold on, baby. So I wake up and clean my face in the morning, and then I do the micro sculpting cream um, with the ultimate eye cream. And then at night, I use face wipes because I'm usually really tired and lazy. Um, and then I do the ultimate eye cream again, and then I use the Olay Night Recovery Cream. And honestly, guys, I've only been doing it about a month or so. 
but I've noticed a difference. Like my skin feels better. So yeah, that's that's all I do, guys. So yeah. No cats on the cat. Are you putting hats on the cat? <laughs> oh, the most patient cat in the world. Yeah, we're tired. We're ready to go to bed. Y'all say night. 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 Bella. Can you tell who's the crazy one? Bye. Bye. Night. Oh, Bella. It is 12 o'clock. Yes. Good Lord. And Kit Kat left me. Kit Kat! Come here. I need love. Calvin's being, uh... What? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah. The kids and give them their baths and not. Stop. <laughs> I don't sound like that. The man in Yeah, it's windy. Oh, Scratch. Not like it's romantic. Good job, Bella. Okay. My baby. Help. <laughs> Good Bella helping her brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Calvin? He's getting a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> I know, baby, but you don't need your passy. It's not bedtime. Why did I think this was a good idea? I do not know. Yeah. Ooh. 497 pages. Your mom is big helper. <laughs> I love y'all. Hey, Kit Kat, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. You got anything to say for yourself? 